Hey guys, my name is Avinash and in this video we are going to discuss uh, what exactly Git and uh, introduction to Git. So then uh, what is the version control and um, so what is the history of the version control tools. So if you are taking any, any development uh, process, uh, so like we need to have a source code management tool, right? So Git is one of the widely used uh, version control system. So, uh, basically, whatever the modifications you're performing on your file, so it keeps tracks all that changes. So, first, let's discuss what exactly this version control is. So, version control is a system that records changes to your file or set of files over time so that you can recall specific version later. So, let's quickly observe this. For example, you have a file called resume.txt. So I'm going to take a file called resume.txt. So now I let's assume you have some data. Now I'm going to update my resume.txt file, but I want to keep track of all the changes happening on this file. So if I open this, if I if I add something here and if I save, so there is no previous file, so it is going to show with all the updated data. So then as it is a manual file so what we can do we can we can take another copy of this file and uh, for easy management purpose i'm going to call this as a resume version 1.0 or uh, i'm going to call this as a resume version 1.0 and uh, this one as a 1.1 later on again if you are performing some more modifications so then i'm going to work on this file so skills updated again you are going to modify some more thing again we are going to take a another file and i'm going to call this as a version 2.0 and i'm going to open um, i'm managing all these individual files now as i'm managing these versions i have an advantage so if i want to track all the changes happening on this file so I can open all this, okay, this is what the version 1.0, this is version 1.1, and this is version 1.2.0, so I can. So if you're working on only one individual file, fine, you can use this mechanism. But whenever you're working in millions of the files, and everyday developers are going to work on millions of the files, many files, basically. So in this case, managing that version in this manner is a not a recommended option so that is why we have a version control system called git and the advantages of this git is we can track all the changes happening on a file and if you want to roll back we can do that you can roll back means you can simply revert back to your previous state and you can compare the changes and you can search through the history that's what we have seen here and coordinates works between multiple developers we will talk about this and uh, we have local repos and we have remote repos and if you want to know more uh, advantages or features of this Git, so here is a url so let me quickly go there so basically these are the features we can perform code reviews and within this grid itself we can perform project management so here for example developer one he wrote some code and he requested for review for his tl so then the tl is going to verify all those things and he's going to approve or he's going to reject or he's going to give his feedback basically then that's the first thing second one is we can perform project management so when coming to project management so what are the cards what is a pending task how many tickets are opened so you can track all those changes and this git basically you can integrate with many of the tools like a slack you can uh, you can integrate with google you can pick up multiple tools and you can use for team management purpose also so what purpose you want to give what what level of access you want to give for this user so you want to give just read only permissions or you want to give admin permissions so you can control that uh, team access on a specific project or specific uh, specific strings also so then uh, you can you can just go and you can pick a social coding and you can you can create a uh, public project and uh, 
many, many developers are going to contribute to the project. So you can get help uh, from anyone and you can, uh, while, while developing, you can maintain the documentation also. And you can even host your code. So these are the advantages of uh, GitHub I'm talking about. Okay, so basically what version you require, you can pick and um, you can just host all your code. And uh, so they have trusted um, customers like uh, some, some big names here for uh, GitHub. So now let's talk about the history of these tools. Okay, so in 1970s, so we used to have tools like uh, SCCM. And basically that SCCM can be used to modify or maintain versions only for one particular file only. Then we got RCS. So you can edit multiple files. It maintains multiple files changes, but it, it can track only one directory. So then we got our CVS. So it can track changes for multiple files, for multiple directories, but only for one user. So then in 2000s, we got SVM. So we got um, uh, Apache Subversion and we got Tortoise SVM. So many SVMs came. So Apache Subversion basically, SVM means Subversion. So the, uh, by using the Subversion, so you can create a, a number of the files and it tracks a number of the modifications for a number of the directories and multiple users also can work on that. But the disadvantage of this SVN is, so it works with the client and server model. What exactly the client and server model? So when coming to client and server model, we are going to have, um, we are going to have a server and we are going to have uh, multiple clients. So let's assume these are some developers. So whatever the code they are going to work modifying or what modifications they are performing. So they need to push all the changes to this server. And exactly same way this developer, all the developers need to put all their code in a centralized location called server. Due to any of the reason, if this server goes down, so all these developers are going to get affected. So that is a disadvantage with the SVN, but many, many organizations use that SVN. So then in 2005, 7th April, Linus Starwald is the inventor of Linux. So he took some time and he designed this kit. And Basically, it comes with the free and open source licensing type. So anybody can start using this. And here, the advantage with this kit is, so every git directory on every single computer, is a, it's going to contain a full-fledged repository with complete history and full version tracking abilities. And it is independently accessible within a network. So you can use admission as a server. So unlike this client and server mechanism, so it works like a distributed computing. So that means like a, every every individual machine will, ca will have complete set of the code and uh, this all can communicate. So if you want to communicate with this, if you want to communicate with this, so due to some reasons, if anything goes down, so immediately you can make another one up and running. So that is, that is a main advantage of uh, Git. All right, so this is a, a very simple introduction to Git. In our next video, we are going to discuss how we can install Git in Windows operating system and in Linux operating system. Thanks for watching this video, guys.